Why does this thing never work? Oh. What's up, gamers? Oh, that's not good. What's, What's up, up gamers? gamers? Oh. I think we're good now. And since all of you are asking, yeah, I'm wearing a new shirt. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Only 10 more left. So, go subscribe. Only, like, I don't even know, like, 5% of you are subscribed. So, go down there. Doing it right now. And what did I promise, like, 20 videos ago? Once we hit 500 subscribers, I will reveal my right pinky knuckle. So go smash the sub button. Right pinky knuckle reveal? I don't even know. But, CNC is broken. Here, let me take you to it. So it's cut out a few things, and... On the first try, of course. But, I don't know. After I've replaced, like, all the motors now with more powerful ones, I think it's because my USB cable might be disconnecting, and it just randomly stops now. I mean, now it also throws out a million error codes, so that's not great. But, it seems to be going good. Kind of. Not really. So here's me finally b making a f So here's me finally making an actual working prototype of the self-cooling water bottle I designed in middle school science fair. Got second place on that. I catted all of this like a year ago now, but... I just finally printed all of it, and it happens to all fit. Honestly, I'm surprised how well this printed. There's zero string. I mean, you can see the voids and stuff, but it's like surprisingly decent for my super cheap print. I mean, except for... 3D printer pen should fix that. Just borrow some filament. After a bit of looking, I found a computer fan that should work for this. I'm using precious materials on this, but I have to clean off the old thermal paste. Now, the cool thing is I can take this and rotate it in any position and put it on and it should still turn on. Now, this has got to be one of my most professional projects. It actually works fairly well and I'd say it looks decent, but it's completely useless. I mean, I knew it from the start, but I've designed a completely useless product nobody would use self-cooling water bottle. It just sounds cool. And it gives you everything you want. Heating your room, possible electrocution, flammability, possible leakage, a wire to trip on and spill your whole drink. But besides that, it's it's a self-cooling water bottle. That That is just about the most inefficient way to cool down a drink you could possibly think of. Here, come closer. I'll tell you how it works. Okay, that's, that's a bit too close. Okay, so here you got two rings. The outside's negative, the inside's positive, and for that, have two springs down here that contact with those pins but once you put it on the coaster it turns on automatically and now you see the little motor in there there's a heat sink right there and on top of that is the Peltier module which basically just kind of shoves heat from one side and puts it in the other so one side gets cold the other side gets hot now it's extremely inefficient that's why this cup draws about like 40 watts and takes like four hours to cool your drink to a normal temperature the fan heat sink, Peltier module, and then cup. And a bunch of thermal compound in between. Well, if you like that, subscribe. It helps me out too. Like I said, we're almost at 500. If you like this video, go down and like it. And if you didn't like it, well, uh, tell me in the comments how I can improve. Peace.